Greetings to another video. Today I'm going to be testing out the cheapest possible cycling kit I could find just to be able to show is it worth your money investing in expensive or can the cheaper stuff be just as good. To fully test it today I'm going to ride 100 miles in it. I don't even, I've not even had it out of the box yet and it's actually from Aldi. Initial impression is that they are really slippery. The chamois, it's very like flimsy. Like generally chamois in more expensive bibs are quite like structured. Is it see-through? Silicon leg grippers in there. The colour's nice. Drawstring waist. The quality's not that bad for the jersey. I feel like you can get away with a cheaper jersey than you can with cheaper bibs. It has got a reflective strip at the back and it's got three pockets. Decent zip to be honest. They're not really cycling socks, they're just kind of like a sports sock. God, they come out of your arm. I don't think it's gonna to rain today, but I am gonna test this out and see whether it is actually waterproof. I like that they come quite high up as well. I thought they'd be really low down, but they are quite high waisted. They do come up quite, I guess, a bit larger. So I've got an eight to 10. I actually feel quite comfortable. The jersey, this is the eight to 10. So for reference, I'm about 64 kilos and five foot 10. Um, and these are the eight to 10 shorts and then the eight to 10 jersey. It's very kind of like oversized, like a very casual, like loose fit. Again, it's actually, it looks like the fabric's quite comfortable and even a zip. The socks, they're just kind of like sports socks rather than, but I'll tell you what, they are so soft and so comfortable. Size eight to 10. This feels like more fitted than the other thing. So it's kind of a bit, I thought this was gonna be the biggest thing, but it actually feels the tightest. Sleeves are a little bit short. It's actually got air vents. Um, it's got a pocket at the back. The mitts are quite long. I should mention to start with that saddle comfort is not necessarily just based on what like shorts or bibs you're wearing it depends on like your bike fit your bike setup the saddle that you're using so yeah just bear that in mind however first 40k first impressions of the shorts they're actually a lot nicer than i thought they were going to be because the fabric was like it looked so slippery i thought i might like be sliding around the saddle but actually they were all right and they're actually really comfy on the legs like i thought like the leg grippers not, might not be very good but actually they're sitting nicely in place not moving around a lot yeah they're holding up pretty well the only thing with them is so far is that the um the chamois like i thought is really thin so i can feel the saddle like a lot more than i would normally it's not hurting but i'm just more aware so we'll see how we get on like later in the ride the jacket oh it's sweaty it's boiling a bag because i've done a bit of climbing because it's not breathable that means potentially it's going to be waterproof so we'll have to see other thing, <laughs> cheers TV. Um, other thing, gloves, so far so good. Socks, amazing. I'm meeting Rafa, we're gonna go and do a 90K ride around the Trafford Boland because I have to test this properly and I do hills. I love the hills, love the beautiful countryside. So let's head there and just yeah, have a, a mega day because the weather is glorious. So I cannot wait just to go out and uh, try it out in the, uh, in the old hills. I'm sorry, I've just got like Jersey envy. Look at Les's Jersey. <laughs> Uh, so that is, I guess, the first, like, small criticism. There aren't any other designs, there's just this one, one colour, one design. And this is what friends are for. When we're riding, I'm going to be like, can you see my uh, badge crack in these shorts? They are very thin, so apologies to these guys if you can see my whole ass. It's all right. A little bit of crack, hey? No! <laughs> really? <laughs> well, only really close. Only like the flat. Yeah, I think we've got to get the sand behind you there. <laughs> this kid is full of being tested. I am flagging up this hill. Where the hell are you filming now, Casey? <laughs> look, look at it. it looks like I've 
peed my pants, but it's just sweat. I've sweated from my... Uh... I don't want to know. I'm certainly not going to start looking down there. You can't say I'm not giving this a fair crack because I am dying. So far, good. I've actually, of course the word like settled into how they feel and they're actually quite nice on the bike. Although the only problem at the minute is a little bit see-through. <laughs> <laughs> True friend. Oh yeah, they are quite. Oh good, look at the jiggle on it as well. They're just like, there's not enough fabric to like hold the jiggle in. At the top of Jeffrey Hill, Clitheroe, down that way. That was a brutal climb. I generally tend to, well, not all the time, but like have seated climbs. And actually, the bibs, they weren't slipping around. They were, I could hear a couple of squeaks. Yeah, it's alright. And the gloves, pretty good for wiping your nose on. This ride has been really good but really tough the toughest ride that i've done in a long time i think the state of my hair shows you how i'm feeling <laughs> one good thing though about the shorts specifically they've got a drawstring in them so i've just like just undone them a little bit so i can uh, get some food in that is what i've got i've got to be honest i'm not having any pain i thought i've actually got a spare pair of shorts with me actually I thought they would be 100% on right now. And I was thinking of getting the train back because I feel like, okay, I'm just gonna carry on, I'm just gonna ride down. Surprisingly impressed with them. It's the next day and I did a total of 180K and 111 miles, 2,700 meters elevation, which I think is about 9,000 feet. So the gloves, I think the gloves they fit quite nicely and I think if the, you're using them just to kind of keep the sun off the back of your hands or using them if you come off your bike just to save your palms, I think they'd be really good. But if you're wanting them to kind of prevent like hand numbness, they're not that great because the actual bit of padding is not actually on the palm of your hand, it's a little bit higher up. I did try the small and the medium and it was the same on both, so not great if you're wanting to prevent hand numbness. Socks, I mean they're socks. They were really comfy, very stretchy, and for two pound, like, they're good. The rain jacket, didn't actually rain, but as an outer layer, it kept me warm, but I will be testing whether or not it is fully waterproof when it next chucks it down. So that video is coming. The jersey, it was very comfortable to wear, it was very soft, however, just the sizing, because it was so big, um, and that was the smallest size, and I'm a size 10, so if you're smaller than that, you're just not gonna be able to get one small enough because when you put stuff in your jersey pocket like I put some food in there later in the day and it just kind of like really sagged down whereas if you've got an actual fitted jersey like the stuff in your back pocket stays in your back pocket like where it is if that makes sense the five pound shorts so what I liked about them I like the color of them I liked the leg length so they weren't too short they weren't too long and initially I really liked the fit of them. However, as the ride went on, they kind of got like a little bit baggy. But if you're wanting to prevent like saddle soreness and chafing, you need something that's fitted to your body. And because they got a little bit baggier, I feel like in time that would prevent, potentially then cause like chafing or saddle sores. I was very lucky on this one. It didn't, I didn't get any of that. I didn't get any pain whatsoever, but it was the first time I'd worn them. So I feel like maybe in time when you wear them and wear them and wash them, they might get a little bit saggier and not fit as well. Also, they were quite see-through, not fully see-through with lots of washes, being in lots of like harsh sunlight, maybe being in the rain, like, which wears the, the fibers and the fabric down quicker. I feel like they might become, well, they will become more see-through as time goes on. Because they weren't really fitted or very, or very thick, there was kind of a lot of jiggle going on. So just bear that in mind again if you are wanting to try these shorts out. Also, I just wanna mention sustainability because if that's something that's important to you, then this is something to consider. So a lot more of the expensive brands like your Raffers and Maps, they will use like recycled materials to make some of their kit. Whereas on the Aldi website, I couldn't find anything about it being sustainable. But I feel like with being sustainable, 
it's not just about using recycled products it's actually just not buying as much stuff in the first place so whether that means you buy one expensive set of bib shorts and keep them for years and years and years or buy a cheaper pair that maybe don't last as long but then have to keep rebuying them i mean that's something for you to consider for me i would just rather buy one pair that's going to last a lot longer and also with the higher pricier brands it's not just about like a higher price tag it's you're paying a lot of the time for product development and it being tested on different women, different shapes, like I'm talking specifically as a woman. Also the different types of fabric. So a lot of bigger brands will have their own custom fabric. However, with all that being said, the five pound shorts way exceeded my expectations, but I've taken a, an extra pair of uh, bibs in my bag because I thought I'm probably gonna need to swap, swap them halfway around and I didn't. So the fact that I did 180K in them, I'm impressed. So I would recommend these for people that were going on commutes, going on shorter club rides, for people that are just starting out in cycling. I wouldn't necessarily recommend them for like long endurance rides like the one I did because I, I think because my setup is so good, I generally can wear like leggings or just a pair of shorts to ride and I don't necessarily need like a big thick chamois or something. Any other brands that you want me to try out, leave them in the comments and I will see you all in the next video. I think it is, it's gonna be like flashing my bum crack, like hands down the front of my pants. Not at all.